Hi guys, I know it's been a while since I've posted anything the last time I did. It, I was having a really hard time and I got my reline and the past couple days were a little rough for me, but yesterday I couldn't really eat and I tried something that was, that I'd heard about. It was a little bit different. When I soaked my dentures last night, I put a little bit of mouthwash in the water, alcohol free, so it doesn't hurt my soft reline. And I put them in today, and now? Like, they're not loose, they fit. I'm doing good. I tried something tonight that I'm gonna do for you guys that I can do now. This is a hard chip. Yesterday, I couldn't even, I could barely chew. I learned something from a video last night from one of the other people who puts videos out named Bill, and it works. The guy can eat again. I don't know why I couldn't yesterday, but I just, I couldn't. Now, everything feels fine. Now what he told me is if you're having trouble biting or chewing, sorry, make sure you take a small bite, put it only between your four front teeth, Once your molars touch, you can break it. Now one thing I should tell you. Today I bit through garlic toast. With cheese on it. I've never been able to do that. It's allergy season, so keeping your teeth in tight especially the top because you get mucus and saliva that builds up here and then your teeth drop down isn't an easy thing but you seem to figure it out and this seems to be working because I've never bitten anything like this I tried and I couldn't do it now I can eat chips. It's been about two and a half months. It's not even phasing me. If I would try to do this last night, there's no way. Another reason I think I seem to have a struggle with this is I'm tongue-tied, so it's hard for me to move the food around. And soon you see me chewing, it takes a minute. So I have to eat a little bit slower. I also have been experiencing something people call tired jaw. Like you try and push and you just, you can't chew. Like, your jaw doesn't have the muscle strength to push through the food. And today, it doesn't even bother me. Like, since I got my teeth out, which was April 16th, I've never been able to eat anything crunchy and I didn't think I was ever going to be able to again but if you're having the struggles like I am like you can't eat I haven't eaten a sandwich I've even tried to buy pizza nothing like that like it's been I think about it and then I get anxiety and it's scary and I just can't but now I could eat pizza I'm going to make a bologna sandwich tonight and eat that.
as now I can. So this video is more or less just some words of encouragement for you guys. It does get better. And for three days I had bad days. And then I found something that helped. I found a new technique on how to bite. And how to chew. Let me do it one more time so I can, sorry. Teach you sort of what I learned. Still 100% trying to figure it out. What he told me, which seems to have worked, is you get the food in your teeth. And you set up where you're going to bite. And as you bite down, you push the food towards your teeth. Don't try to tear it away. Once you feel your back molars touch, you can break it off or tear it. Because you, I don't use any adhesive. There's nothing holding these in. Sorry. Thought I chewed that. I was wrong. That didn't go so well. But once you feel your molars touch, you can break the food. So I don't even really feel like I need to do that most of the time. I just put the food where I need it. Push. And I can 100% bite through it. Still, without using adhesive, it's going to be a little more complicated. You're going to get food stuck under the teeth like I just did. But what I like about it is you don't have to wait until you're somewhere where you can pry your teeth out and you can clean them off. For me... I can just take them out wherever I am, find a bathroom, rinse them off, put them back in, no pain, no nothing, because for me the worst two things are one, when I use adhesive they're too tight, they don't feel right, and they give me headaches. That sucks. Two, the adhesive doesn't last. I guess one more thing is, I've had this happen before. You see, adhesive starts to wear out. And then you get a piece of food stuck under the top or bottom. But it's still tight everywhere else. You can't get that food out. Like, you just can't. And it hurts. It's uncomfortable. It's not a good feeling. So I'm learning to use dentures without any adhesive and I plan to do that for the rest of my life and I don't even have my hard reline like I've only had soft relines and I don't use it and I won't use it it doesn't last long enough it's uncomfortable when it does and I would much rather go without so I hope everybody has a good night I hope this helped some people as it did for me learning that technique and You'll get through it. I'm learning too. Everybody will. Have a good night, guys.